Thank you very, very much. As I was going to say, I'm president of the Hunger Project, and I want to welcome you this evening. And I want to let you know we have a very, very special evening planned for you. Uh, we had you in mind when we made all of the preparations. But just before we start that part of the evening, I wanted to be with you just for a few minutes personally. I wanted to let you know that, or as you know, we lost a member of our Hunger Project family this week. John Denver, a co-founder of the Hunger Project, died in an airplane crash October 12th in Monterey, California. When John died, the world lost a great humanitarian and a man whose music touched the lives of millions of us and he brought his music brought us closer together as a humanity. But we in the Hunger Project, we lost a true friend. We in the Hunger Project loved John Denver and John loved the Hunger Project. He participated in the Hunger Project the way he did in life, fully, completely, exuberantly. He was on the board of directors. He traveled to Africa to publicize a famine that was there and to bring it to the attention of the international community. He traveled to Asia and met with our leaders of our work there. He met with volunteers all over the world. He was a spokesperson in all kinds of public forums, including his own concerts. He wrote songs for the Hunger Project. He testified before Congress. He spoke with con congressional people. And he was an avid and an enthusiastic and generous investor. John Denver financially invested every year, every month, without missing one month. Somehow when John was around, the world was a little brighter. There was more hope, there was more optimism, and he, he just made everything seem like it was possible. On occasions like this, traditionally, when a family like ours have lost a loved, beloved family member, the traditional thing to do is to honor this person by a moment of silence. However, to honor John Denver by a moment of silence only would be to not get who John Denver truly was. So for the next few moments, we're gonna provide you the opportunity to honor John Denver, his stand for the end of hunger, and your relationship with him. My shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine on the water looks so lovely. Almost always makes me high. sing for you I'd sing a song to 
I just wanted to let you know that three days before the plane crash, I had an opportunity to talk with John Denver by phone. He was scheduled to be here tonight. When I was reconfirming him, he told me the complicated route that he would need to take in order to be there, to be here. And he said, Joan, it's really impossible, so I'll make it. In what I now see as a divine moment, I had the opportunity to tell John, on behalf of all of us in the Hunger Project, just how much we loved him, how appreciated he is, how much his inspiration meant to us, how much his spokes, uh, him being a spokesperson meant to us, and how his very being is now woven into the fabric of who we are as of a Hunger Project family. For some reason, there was just that opportunity on the phone. And I want you to know that John Denver heard it. And your love was expressed to him. And he got it. I also want to say that I knew John not just as a colleague, but as a friend for over 20 years. And I'm absolutely convinced that if John Denver had had the chance to just say a few comments before that uh, plane crash, and he knew that he only had a few comments, that he would have asked us to stay the course in our commitment and hunger. He would have said, you know, we're so close now, let's not give up. And he would have made his request that we all now go the final distance. I also know that he would have requested that in his memory that tonight, instead of mourning your loss with him, that you celebrate your life and his life, that you celebrate the accomplishment that the Hunger Project is. He would want you to have a wonderful time. He would want you to celebrate. So I ask you, in the memory of John Denver, to have a wonderful time tonight to honor him by celebrating what he stood for and celebrating what is being achieved and what can be achieved on this planet that's consistent with his stand for the end of hunger. Thank you very much. <laughs> 